Yesterday on 7th July 2020, wait, wait, you said you didn't hear me. Yesterday on July 7th 2020, a patrol squad composed of two soldiers and two LDU personnel on routine duty in the Mitiana municipality manhandled the LC5 chairman for Mitiana district, Mr. Joseph Luzige. The circumstances under which this happened are yet to be fully established. This incident, no doubt, has attracted a lot of attention from the members of the public and the leaders in Mitiana and beyond. The Uganda People's Defense Forces regrets this gross act of indiscipline that is not characteristic of the UPDF as a people's army. Last night we called the chairman and conveyed our deepest apologies. We wish to restate that discipline remains a core value and bedrock on which the Uganda People's Defense Forces was founded. Anyone who deviates from this will always be punished according to the laws. There are examples to prove this in the recent past, like a soldier in Kasese, whom we have sentenced 30 years of imprisonment and an LDU yesterday was sentenced to life imprisonment, all because of unprofessional conduct. We therefore strongly condemn this act meted out against one of our senior civilian leaders. In response to this incident, the following who were involved have been arrested and will be prosecuted in the military court. One, Lance Corporal Simon Peter. Two, Private Odeke Simon. Three, LDU Private Musund Caroline. Number four, LDU Private Okero Isaac. Investigations have also commenced. Meanwhile, the Chief of Defense Forces, General David Mohosi, has sent a team of senior leaders that include Major General Sam Kavuma, the Deputy Commander of the Land Forces, Major General Sam Kawaga, the Commander of the First Division, and Major General Henry Masko, the Chief Political Commissar. These have been sent to Mitiana to make an on-spot assessment and also confer or meet with the, both the district leaders and the district security committee. The UPDF wishes to reiterate its full commitment and loyalty to the people of Uganda and will always remain subordinate to the civilian authority as provided for under Article 208 of our Constitution. There is no need to lose heart over these incidents. Our commitment to disciplining our forces is total. It's absolutely unquestionable. A comprehensive review of these deployments to enforce the anti-COVID-19 measures is soon to take place and we expect better results. Thank you very much and stay safe. Our people are a reflection of our society, of our community. And we recruit them from, from you people. You all you may recall that uh, when we are recruiting these LDUs, 
We call upon you, our local leaders, our heresies, to recommend to us the best amongst the society who are looking for patriotic Ugandans that could join us to fight criminality. So these are the people we picked from our society. Okay? We did not pick them from us. So, we have given them training. We continue to educate them. I have always told you that our vaccine to immunize our people is always political education and the laws we have. Thank you very much. Wait, wait, I haven't finished. <laughs> yeah. But we can't turn them into angels all of a sudden. It is a process. It's a process to bring these colleagues of ours to these very high standards, which require from which require from us, and we really understand. We understand when you compare these uh, young uh, comrades of ours with us, the UPDF. We are what we are because of what we have gone through over a period of time. So don't despair. Don't be impatient. What is important is our commitment to correct these wrongs. Impunity is not in the vocabulary of the UPDF. So through all these collective measures, through education, through the training, we, we are very sure that uh, would, would, would build a very strong LOD force. So don't despair. Don't despair. I've assured you that our commitment is total. Never doubt us. This very incident, I have told you that there were two UPDF soldiers and two LODUs. So we all continue to support the Uganda police force to enforce the anti-COVID measures. The report you talked about, unfortunately, I have not read it. But as a principle, torture is illegal. Torture will never be the modus operandi of the Uganda People's Defense Forces. You know the birth of the Uganda People's Defense Forces, which formerly was the National Resistance Army, was linked to the restoration of human rights in our country. So we can never be at the core of the restoration of human rights in the country, peace and stability, and yet champion torture that you are talking about. The, the local defense forces are under the command and control of the Uganda People's Defense Forces. LDUs have been working with us as our auxiliary forces for a long time. Despite these shortcomings that you are talking about, the LDUs have done a good job. They have in the past supported the UPDF in the counterinsurgency operations in northern Uganda against the Lord Resistance Army. They were instrumental in the disarmament campaign in Karamoja. And recently, when Kampara metropolitan area was hard hit with the criminality, these LDUs have come in very, very handy to check it. This is why you have peace and stability in Kampala. This is why you are able to sleep very well without being disturbed at night. So, these few mistakes committed by these individual LDUs should not disappoint you. You should not think that all the LDUs are bad. Not at all. The way we have bad people in our society. If you go to prisons now, there are thousands of civilians there, but we cannot generalize and say that Ugandans are very bad, Ugandans are criminals. No, we can't say that. So we'll progressively handle them 
case by case. Identification is very, very important. If someone commits a, a crime or a mistake, it's very, very easy to identify you and uh, get reported to the authority. Like my name tag here. You can't mistake me for Kato. If I made a mistake, you are able to say, yes, General Richard Karemire is the one who did ABC. So we are addressing that. We'll be issuing name tags to our local defense forces so that it enhances command and control. It becomes easier to identify them in case one makes a mistake. Number LD use Babiri. Bakoze Sa Elian, Ku Chairman Wafe, Wemitiana District, Omwami Joseph Luzige. E Chavide Kochino, Tetunaba Tufuna Mubutuf. Chino Echkolwa Echajo, Chavide Deko Abantu Bona Opfu. Okunyiga, siba ntu mumitiana wakana ye na wala la wana. Bonobu nyivu, fetubu tege la bulonji. It's understandable. Na yefe nga UPDF, tuwa gara kwe jusa, ulweno enkora e ye mpisa mbi kufa kubantu wa fe. Na yetu wakala kubagu mianti Mpise enunji Eja kubela kuguma Ngeriku foundation ya fe Nga UPDF Bulu msirikare ya fe Uwa fe Singa ayayi sabubi Tuja kumuka angavula Okusinzu la kumateka ga fe Chino mchima nyuru unji Enakwe ziwede Walu omiserika wafe yata mwana inchi. Nitumu tuwara mkoti. Nitumu siwa emiaka asatu mutano. Nejo omu kuwa erodiyu. Na ye e yata mzei we miaka nkaga mutano. Koti ya fe evade etura mukamudin. Jo yamu salire, yamaze, yamu, yamaze kumisalira omsango agenda ku siwa for, for life no lwecho tuvumirira dala chino echikolwa echakoledwe echakoledwa ku chairman wa fe mwami joseph luzuge botwamaze okufuna gana mauli ramabi twakute aba baserikale Abakoze ichukul wachino. Na tenga tugenda kubatu wala mkoti. Abasirika leba no ve mulimu lanskoporo angulia Simon Peter. Private Odeke Simon. Naba LD yubabiri. Omu ba muita musundi Caroline. Omu lala ba muita Private Okero Isaac. Mbaze kwa gamba nte okubuli za kakati kutandise na ye omudumzi wafe wa UPDF Jono David Mhozi amaze okusindi katimu emitiana kugenda no kuwagera ne bakulu wafe ya politics ne district security committee asindi seyo Major General Sam Kavuma Kono yu deputy, wa, deputy commander, land forces. Muli mune Major General Samu Kawaga, kono yu adumira, amajega fe, agumu vitu ndu vinonga, muli mune mitiana. Ne Major General Henry Masiko, wetu ita Chief Political Commissar. Ya kulira ebya siyasa mu UPDF. Na yeba na Uganda banafe, Tuagala kuongera kubabuli lanti Fenga UPDF Tetuja kufa kulaini ya fe 
yo kubera amaje gabantu wadde olusu wabera o incidents ngazino atenga tumanyi bulunji nti tulina kugondera constitution ya fe article 208 egamba tulina kugondera civilian authority cheto tetugenda kuchiva ko naye mubino byonabye tulaba tugenda ku review wenga injeri jetu deploying the abaserikale ba fe aba RDU mukafuveno ya senyoga omukambwe so tulozante okuru viewing a deployment sejo is no tuja ku bera na na embera enunjiko okusinga ku binobye mulaba mwebare nyo mwebare dala na yefe UPDF ne RDU tuja ku supporting so techo techo chino techo wozante police evude ko techali na mulimogona mwebare nyo Muy buenas tardes.